So here's our encoder uh, interface board. The board where the encoder plugs onto the top, uh, around these pins here, is where the encoder pushes down onto. And around the edge uh, we've got all of the pins that connect to the wires going into the organ. Um, it's, I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but there's, there's little rows of pins um, here which we can solder onto. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this board is that it's different from the one that you've seen me installing into the organ uh, so far in the video, and that's because um, it's all a bit of a prototype um, thing going on right now. This is the, uh, you know, the, the beginning of the development process. So this is the latest board, um, and this is the one that you'll see in the organ um, from now on in the video. Uh, ultimately, these will be uh, produced as printed circuit boards, um, but until we get to that stage, um, they're, they're just going to be kind of later, more um, efficient and neater versions of uh, the this board, really. So this one's got the, um, the MIDI socket mounted in the corner here, so you just plug the MIDI plug into there, the encoder plug's on top, and as I say, you've got the pins around the edges. Now, there are... Um, two different types or three different types of inputs uh, for the board. Along here there are three rows of 12 pins. Those are for our notes. So we've got our um, note 0, note 1, note 2, right through to note 12, which usually will be C, C sharp, D, D sharp and so on. Um, I say usually because some organ manufacturers, Yamaha uh, are one of them, don't always start their keyboards on C. Some of them start on F, some of them start on G. So um, in the case of one of those, we'd still start on the left-hand side with note 0, but note 0 would be an F. Um, and note 1 would be F sharp, note 2 G and so on um, and, until we end up on E for our last note. Um, and that doesn't matter because we can tell the encoder which note we're starting on and we'll cover that in a, in a minute uh, in the video when we, uh, when we program the encoder. But for the time being, um, just to know that these are the note inputs. There are three rows of them, simply because you've got a lot of wires. If you've got three keyboards, um, then obviously you've got three lots of note wires. Um, you've got your stop um, wires 0 to, uh, 0 to 11 to connect onto there as well. So um, that's why you've got those three rows of pins there. Now, at the back of the board here, there are some other pins. These are the inputs for your expression pedals. So your swell pedal, crescendo pedal, uh, whatever you may have. There are eight inputs. Uh, I don't know if you can see them here, these pins here. Um, and basically they're analog inputs. They go between 0 volts and 5 volts. And conveniently, just to the left here, we've got these two pins. And we've got um, 0 volts and 5 volts uh, available on these pins here. Now all the other pins around the edge that you can see, um, those are all for the octave lines or common lines if it stops uh, that you're wiring up and they're all numbered. It doesn't really matter which octave lines you put to which numbers because again when we program up the encoder in a minute you'll see that we can just tell the encoder which lines go to which pins and it's happy. So that's pretty much it for this board, that's all it does, it's just a convenient way, or, or the way really, to connect all your wires uh, from the organ to the encoder. Um, apart from these two pins over here, the, uh, the plus 5 volts and, and the 0 volt pins, it it's not the end of the world. If any of these pins, if you do make a mistake in your wiring, if there's any short circuits or anything like that, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt anything except for these two. If, if you short those together, you're in trouble um, and it could cause kind of irreparable damage to the encoder. But everything else doesn't matter. And there is, as I'll show you in a minute, um, an option on the encoder when you program it for it to actually check and make sure that you haven't got any wires shorted together. So if you're not sure about your wiring, doesn't matter, um, you're not really going to hurt anything and you can get the encoder to check it for you. So that's a brief overview of the interface board and we'll move on to programming the encoder shortly.